Hey friends, something a little different today. It's Sunday morning. Uh, I haven't had coffee yet, but we're gonna change that because I'm about to make a brunch cocktail. So this is a short story that starts with walnuts. We had these walnuts for another recipe and uh, with some leftovers, I decided to make a quick batch of walnut orgeat. You can make orgeat with any nut really at all and the procedure is pretty much always the same. You just chop up the nuts. I'm using a blender. You can use a Cuisinart or a knife. Doesn't really matter. Uh, I weigh them out because I want to use twice the weight of nuts that I have. I want to use twice that weight of water. So I had three ounces of nuts and I did uh, I guess a little over uh, six ounces of water. You're doing this, you're going to put this in the fridge overnight and it's going to suck all the nuttiness into the water and make like a nut milk. The next day it's this sort of brown sludgy stuff. You're going to put that uh, through a strainer. I'm using a nut bag kind of strainer, but anything will work really, a cheesecloth probably or a, a anything. But you can squeeze this bag, which is nice. You can squeeze out all the nut milk and there you go. Now I measured this out. This came out about 100 and a little under 150 milliliters. So we're going to put in an equal weight of sugar. Uh, I might have gone a little over on the sugar, but honestly, it, it's not that critical. Now. I like to add orange blossom water to mine. Uh, you can do that, or you can use uh, rose water. I actually did both. I did about a quarter ounce of orange blossom water, and then I used this rose extract I have. You have to be really careful with the rose. It really can take over if you put in too much, so I think I put in a drop, maybe two. And then that's it. Surge dissolved, everything stirred up. Pour it in your bottle, label, good to go. So Auntie Susan put this walnut orgeat in her coffee. That sounded pretty good, so I decided to make a sort of espresso martini with this cold brew concentrate I made. I'll see a video on that, but instead of vodka, I'm definitely using rum because that's going to be better. Uh, and this Borghetti espresso liqueur is my coffee liqueur that I have on hand, just to bump up the coffee flavor. I'll put the recipe down below. We tried it a couple of times to try and get it right, but you definitely want to dry shake it to fluff up that half and half or cream. You could use a heavy cream, it would probably be a little creamier or decadent. Now another thing, these glasses are a little bit too small. They don't look quite right in this glass, but you know what? It was Sunday. I hadn't had my coffee yet, and uh, you know, this is the this is the choice I went with. Now I also put on some frost milk on top of this. I thought that would look kind of cool, but we have this little milk frother device but I don't know I didn't end up looking that, that great for adding a whole lot to the drink so next time I might skip that step and this is the second version I made this glass is also too big I don't know what I was thinking So I also made a hot version, just basically hot coffee with rum, walnut orgeat, and half and half in it. Uh, it didn't really stay hot though. Okay, we did it. We made brunch. We're gonna try these cocktails real quick and uh, get to eating. All right, I'm gonna try the cold one. Do it. It's exciting, look how pretty that is. I mean, it's definitely very milky. It's like a milkshake. Like a little rummy milkshake. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. It's got the good. nuttiness. The nuttiness is really nice. The coffee comes through. This newer version is a lot is somewhat less sweet, mm -hmm. which I think is good. I think it's better at this sweetness level. I'm gonna try this hot version. Sure, I'm gonna try that too. 
It's a warm version, I would say. It's a warm version. I put cream in it and other room temp ingredients. It's sort of cooled down the coffee. It's a lot less uh, exciting, maybe. Yeah, the cold version's better. I agree. I think the cold version's better. This might be, there might be a way to make it into an effective hot version, but you'd need to Do some work other. harder to keep it hot. Yeah, I didn't work hard, very hard on the hot version. It was just an experiment. The cool version. The cool version is delicious. Did you try I'm this? Going. Did you try this yet? Mm -hmm. I'm not 100 percent sure the mm. frothy milk on top is helping, but it's fun though. I I, I like it. It looks nice. Yeah. All right, we're gonna eat breakfast. Conclusions. 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 Uh, this isn't a super boozy drink. It's only three quarters of an ounce of rum. Here, I'll put the recipe right here. Uh, but it's a fun, you know, thing for brunch. You don't want to get like wasted in the morning when you're drinking your brunch. But um, the walnut orgeat is really nice with the coffee. I mean, you could just sweeten your coffee with it as well. That works actually really well um, for a little zazz in your coffee. Yeah, if you're making any kind of orgeat, uh, orgeat of any variety, I want to hear about it. Put it down in the comments uh, or get at me over on uh, Instagram. Uh, yeah, thanks for watching, uh, uh, thanks for liking and subscribing, and, you know, we'll see you next time.